Hello everyone, Leo is back, and today I'd like to introduce a workflow I've just created for enhancing image details. In this version, the checkpoint I'm using is Flux FN4, a new type of checkpoint that has recently appeared and significantly improves many shortcomings that previous generations of checkpoints haven't achieved. First, you need to download the necessary checkpoints to be able to use them. There are the scenarios if you want to use the original checkpoints, download them from Hugging Face if you want more options, you can go to Sibitai. I'll provide the links below for you to download them and you can download it into the checkpoint folder like other checkpoints before, without needing to put it in the unit folder as with the original checkpoint. The next step is to follow my instructions to use this FN for version. The reason I'm using the FN for version is because it optimizes RAM quite well. It can run on RAM with limited memory while still performing well, unlike the original checkpoint which requires up to 16 gigabytes of RAM and is really quite heavy when using Flux. You just need to type in the address bar CMD, then press enter. A CMD tab will appear. And then you enter the following command to create a git clone for the custom nodes checkpoint loader for FN4. Since I have already created the git clone for it, I won't repeat the process. I'll include the code below in the instructions. Returning to Comfuey after restarting. Most of the previous checkpoints would use the default loader nodes, but FN4 will use a quantization method, which makes running on lower end VR AMIS like FP8 or FB16 no longer an issue. Therefore, we need to create a different loader node. In the current Flux versions, the Chanel version is the lightest, and to enhance detail, we only need to use the BNB FN for version of Chanel. I've shortened the previous execution time from 3 minutes per image after loading everything, and now it's just over 1 minute per image. It's really quite fast, isn't it? After completing the necessary steps for installation, we will now move on to the next part of the process to enhance the details of the image. I will use the ultimate upscale node as I normally do for upscaling an image and compare it with the new method that I've developed here. I will set up some basic steps so that this node can function. The get and set nodes are simply used to streamline the workflow, making it look less cluttered and avoiding confusion from the paths they create. Next will be the basic setup to fit the Schnell Flux checkpoint. After completing the setup, we will proceed to test it. Now, we will compare running the enhance process using Ultimate Upscale and my new method. The image on the left is from Ultimate, and the one on the right is from my method. It seems that it's difficult for the naked eye to notice the difference here with this highly detailed original image. We will check the comparison node to make it easier to see. As you can see, the details on the right have been significantly enhanced in contrast to the left, which simply increased the image size. This is definitely not what we're looking for. I will use another image with fewer details, so that you can compare it more easily. I will use this girl, with the original image being quite dull and the details seeming to have a lot of noise. And now we will continue comparing between Ultimate Upscale and my new method. As you can see, the details on the right are much better and clearer compared to the left even though I use similar sampling and in with settings. But the results are completely different, even though the time taken to produce them is similar. Now I will create an image of a room, which requires a lot of detail and sharpness. With previous checkpoints, it would be very difficult to accurately and for details, and you can see how effective Flex has been in enhancing these details. As usual, the images on the right have much clearer detail, even for distant features. And next is the exterior image. We will compare it with the original image here. And continue comparing with ultimate upscale here. It's quite a big difference, isn't it? As usual. I will upload this workflow to my Patreon. Of course, if you want access, there will be a small fee. I will continue to update it and develop additional workflows with Flux in the future. Additionally, I will upload this basic upscale workflow there 
so that new members have the opportunity to learn and get acquainted with Comfuey. If any nodes show up in red due to missing extensions when importing the workflow, please go to the missing node section to install the required extensions and then restart. If you encounter any other errors, please refer to the previous videos I made to fix import workflow issues. Thank you and see you in the next video. Good luck.